HTV News Show, we have information on class competitions, sports news, and the state test in this week. All this and much, much more coming up on this Monday, May 2nd, 2022, Gold Day edition of the HTV News Show. Let's go. Hi, welcome to the HTV News Show. My name is Brady. And my name's Tony. Hey Brady, have you heard about the NBA playoffs? Yes, it's been a wild ride. So many good teams have been, have been eliminated and there are so many good mashups to come. All school dance coming up soon. Mark your calendars, Vikings. Our last dance of the year is Friday, May 20th. This will be in the NPR from 7 to 9 p.m. All grades are invited. The theme and more details about the dance will follow. Thanks to our amazing leadership team for setting this up. In the news this week, Star Wars Day is coming up on Wednesday, May 4th. This is exciting because the new series Kenobi is coming out in three weeks on May 27th. It will have six episodes and takes place ten years after episode three. Make sure you tell your friends May the 4th be with you. Welcome, Welcome to, to your, your weekly BT trivia. trivia. Today we are going to be looking at some interesting trivia. For today's first question, is a cashew a fruit, vegetable, or nut? I wonder, Tad. Our next piece of trivia is, how many toes does a cat have? And our last question is, what is the most common element in Earth's crust? I don't know. Stay tuned for the answer. Student testing is here and training is today during period one. We will have a shortened schedule in your classes today. Make sure you charge your Chromebooks and bring them to school. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there will be testing on period one for math and English. Next week on Tuesday and Wednesday, eighth graders will have their science test in class. And the last day of testing will be on Friday, May 13th, with a final math test. Here are the birthdays for this week. These students all have birthdays this week. Wish them a happy birthday. Cody, Will, Matthew, Savannah, Dylan, Lucas, Lexi, and Ethan. Sixth and seventh graders, since you'll be needing uniforms for PE next year, please complete the form on the bust or go to the Crocker PE website to select your uniform sizing for next fall. If you're not sure of your size, please give your best guess as, what to, as to what size would fit you best. Make sure to get this done because we need to order the uniforms for next year. Hi Crocker, it's Caroline with the weather for the next few days. With summer six weeks away, the weather is still taking time to adjust. Today will be partly cloudy with, high, with a high of 63 degrees and a low of 49 degrees with 25 mile per hour winds. The rest of the week will be relatively the same with mild winds and cloudy skies and temperatures in the low 60s. Have a great week Crocker. The Crocker Service Learning Team organized a great assembly last week that brought in representatives from the Canine Companions Organization to talk about how dogs are trained to be service animals and help people with disabilities. I'd just like to introduce Dorothy Fletcher. She's from the Canine Companions Organization and um, she's here to just teach us a little bit more about the organization and what they do and how, how her guide dog and service dogs help her out in their daily life. Two dogs came and demonstrated how important they are to their service owner and also how the rigorous training it takes to teach them all they need to know to be a good service dog. It was a very informative assembly. Thank you for the service learning team for your work. Today there are 8th grade intramurals in the gym. The average Joes are against lumberjacks and the purple cobras versus the woolly mammoths. There are also 7th grade intramurals this Wednesday. Good luck Crocker. Get ready for the May because we have a lot of events planned this month. Student council applications are due today. There will be a mandatory meeting in the lecture hall at lunch today as well. Friday, May 13th, we will have a Disney-inspired spirit day and a week-long Penny War class competition. Crocker will also be having a We Care drive where you can donate items to earn class competition points. At the end of, at the end of May, we have an all-school dance and web day for incoming sixth graders. They will be touring the campus and learning about Crocker. Next year, student council elections will be held during, during fourth period in gym on May 27th. What's up, Crocker? It's Charlie with your sports for this week. On Wednesday, the Warriors played against the Nuggets and beat them 102-98, to and Steph Curry scored 30 points. In baseball, the Giants are off to a very good start in NL West, chasing the Dodgers for the first place spot. They split the two-game series with their Bay rivals, the, the A's. That's all for sports, Crocker. Hi, Crocker. Well, welcome back to Selfie the Day. Thank you to Julia, Ava, Lily, Baron, Hannah, Perlina, and Nathan for sending in your selfies. If you want to see yourself on the next HTV, make sure to upload your selfie to the Google form that Mr. Hager sent to you. Welcome back to BT Trivia. Here, Here are your answers. Here are the answers for today's trivia. The first answer is a cashew is a fruit. Wow, that was unexpected. The second answer is, a cat has 18 toes. And our last answer is, the most common element is oxygen. That's all for today. And just like that, our show is done. Signing off, it's Tony. And Brady. Don't have a good day. Have a great day.